What's up, guys? It's your boys, and welcome back with another Chris. Well, I wouldn't say this is a Chris Watts video. This is more of just pertaining to Shanann Watts, her family, because I have. I'm surprised I've never watched this to begin with, but the moment that Shanann was taken away from this world, um, she had visited her mother and with the people that are out there, they have their beliefs and so forth like that. It could come to a shock to some people that, yeah, right. Or yes. I mean, my mom has st stated it too, that when my grandfather passed or even my grandmother, they came to her. I mean, we don't know, but you can't disprove a mother's, connection with her children so for those that probably have lost a loved one or lost a child which again you should not ever have to bury your children um which is unfortunate because these grandparents had to uh, bury their child and their grandbabies they weren't even able to see them because of how I'm not even going to get into it because it's it's grotesque and I don't want you guys to feel sad because this is more, I would say more of a happy video. It's more of an emotional video that I, w I would like to watch with you guys. And I've never watched it to begin with myself and I'm surprised I never watched it to begin with. But um, the Rusex, Shanann's parents, even her mother, talk about her visiting her the moment that the murders took place, which for me would be a shock in itself. <coughs> I felt like I've seen my grandfather watching over my, my son. Could it be a dream? Could it be real? I don't know. That's why I watch the paranormal. That's why I watch these spirit communication sessions. That's why I watch these videos because I want to understand death beyond death, where our body goes or not where our uh, body goes, where our soul goes, where our mind, I want to know. And I can't know that if I don't do my research. I've been watching a lot of uh, near-death experiences with people that have passed on but come back because they're not done. I, it's just things I want to know. And with that being said, what I would like you guys to do before we go any further, if you guys could do me a solid favor for the thousands of 30,000s of you and plus more, is subscribe to the YouTube channel by hitting the white bar icon down at the bottom right. Hit the bell icon next to it so when I do post videos like this one, you guys can watch, comment, like, and share. And again, thank you guys so very much. I'm so blessed for all of you guys that watch my content, the likes, the subscribes, the comments, the, the everything. I can't thank you guys enough. I do re want to reiterate very highly, this is for educational purposes. My reaction obviously is genuine because I've never watched this to be, I, I'm surprised I've never watched this. Somebody was like, have you watched this yet? I was like, uh, no, I haven't. They're like, you need to watch it. So <coughs> with the respect of you guys watching and myself for the Rusex that have lost their loved ones, we want to be very respectful on this video. So please in the comments down below, if you do not have a belief in the afterlife like they do, please just keep it to yourself. I don't want to be disrespectful to them in any way shape or form i want to watch and see and witness what they g have gone through um after the death of their daughter and grandbabies so with that being said let's watch this video so there's a couple of them i'd like to watch this is the first one so let's take a look you know I i've been doing this for 45 years there's there's no category for this this is just pure evil work of the devil he put Shannon's body inside the the cab. And in that floorboard on the floor. That's yeah. where they found all the so hair. So this is like a king cab. Mm -hmm. That work truck. Yeah. 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 So the so, girls were, their feet were on their mommy. But they thought she was sleeping or sick. Or sick. Yeah, well, we, yeah, you don't know what they thought, you know? You can only imagine. Well, as a grandfather, I can't imagine. Those are my grandchildren. I loved them. They were mine. What do you What do you say to yourself about that? There's many times that I just feel like giving up. If it wasn't for God, I wouldn't be here. I've talked to my wife Robin about this, and she sends her love, and she says, "I absolutely know what haunts Sandy as a grandmother is." hearing her daughter's voice in her head and hearing her grandchildren's voice in her head. Dr. Phil, I felt my daughter's spirit the moment she died. 
and something woke me up and I sat at the foot of, you know, sat up and a spear went through my forehead and I, and I heard the Holy Spirit say, Shannon. And I said, Holy, something happened to my daughter. I knew, I swear to God, I knew. I woke up Frankie, I woke up the whole house. I said, something's wrong with Shannon. I'm telling you, something's wrong. And we didn't know she was missing yet, you know. We didn't know anything. But you knew. She, yeah, she, well, she knows know. all the time. She's got intuition. I don't, I don't know how she knows these things. So she what did y'all think womb? when she came to you and said this? Oh, I didn't paranoid. think anything of it, yeah. I was like, Mom, you're just worried. Other, she's probably I didn't think nothing of it. What did you learn about Nico at the time Shannon's life was taken? We didn't know if it was a boy or a girl yet. They had found out, but they Thursday were waiting night, to release it. Thursday night they found out. Wow. And they were going to do a coming out party of being a boy. They canceled it. But they put that on freeze because he was being strange. Um, Distant. Yeah, yeah. They could even and see so it. And so the baby was alive when her life was taken. Yes. yes. And Chris was saying to protect himself that the baby wasn't his. And then they kidding? tried to say that the baby wasn't alive. So I had to give rights of my grandson to the to the place to, to prove that the baby was alive and it was Chris's. And so Are you kidding? there's a medical report now that confirms Absolute, that. Absolutely. Yes. So we know now that the baby was alive. Yes. And the baby was Chris's. Yes. So we have three children murdered here, not two. That's Correct. right. You, you had a real strong connection as a grandmother to Bella and Cece, absolutely. right? Absolutely, absolutely. We know that Cece you can was murdered. You with can literally see Cece so much in her, the grandmother. Like just her smile, her eyes, it looks like her grandmother. With her blanket yes. that she loves so much. Yes, yes. Do you torture yourself with wondering what they were thinking in those final Every moments? second of my life. Father is me. And what do you say to yourself? That they were screaming for their mom and us. No doubt in my mind. They should have never had this problem. I dream about it all the time. I say to Frankie every day, I bet you she was screaming for her nana and her uncle Frankie she and her She said papa. no mom or no, no daddy. Doubt in my mind. We lived with them for 15 months. Our daughter had lupus, so I closed up my salon and moved to Colorado <coughs> to help my daughter with Cece. So I was there in a heartbeat. You may disagree with this, and I don't mean to impose my beliefs on anyone, but I, I do believe in afterlife awareness. Mm -hmm. and, and I do believe that Shannon and Nico and Bill and Cece have access and Mm -hmm. What did they say to me when they came to see me? Have they? I want to know that. So I'm going to watch this other one, hopefully. I don't get too emotional, but when it's kids, it bothers me because I have three of my own. So. Jolly Christmas? Holly Jolly? Oh, you're so cute. <laughs> <laughs> Daddy, Daddy. I'm Pop Pop. You talking to Pop Pop? And Mommy. And Mommy? Yeah. Yep. It's like, how could Chris do this? I do believe in afterlife awareness. And I do believe that Shannon and Nico and, and, and Bella and Cece have access and mm -hmm. what did they say to me when they came to see me have they yes and what did Cece say the first night when she, they found Shannon's body um, I'm gonna be honest with you dr. Phil I was laying in the bed weeping so hard talking to God and I, I said you know I could just end my life now and go find my daughter I had fallen asleep the next morning, they, I get a phone call, and they found Shannon's body. I said, do you want me to identify her on the phone? And he said, yeah, you could do that. And I said, is she beautiful? He said, yes. I said, does she have black hair? And he said, yes. And I said, then you have my daughter. That night, I was laying in bed, and I just felt a presence. And I heard my daughter. I felt her, and I heard her say, I love you, Mommy, and I'm sorry. She told me she was at peace. Why is she sorry? It's not her fault. I finally fell asleep with my daughter at my presence, and she slept with me. I just felt her. 
the following day I get a phone call and uh, they said, Sandy, we found your grand granddaughter, but we're not sure which one. And I said, Bella's a little taller. She's pretty slimmer. She's not, she don't get a little belly. And um, if you pull her hair up a little bit, because I do their hair, and it would be so long, you know, and then I realized all the oil, they would never know. So they said, "Does who's who's the one that wears a, a, a pull-up? Right. And I said, that C. would be CC. They said, well, then we have CC. And I said, well, keep going. I said, find my, my Bella. And uh, two hours later, they did. It was hard for them to even tell us, you know, you could hear it in their voices. I couldn't imagine trying to be in their shoes, trying to tell the parents what they just found. Yeah. And it was two hours later that they said they had yeah, found Yeah, she was Bella. at the bottom of the drum and their skin was falling off as they were trying to get them out. Everybody needed so much therapy after that. Our, uh, our hearts just go out to all of them. That, that, that works and yet there's people out there that say team chris or chris is innocent really damn hard on this case and you felt cc and bella's presence i felt cc's presence she was first and um she goes hi Anana," and i could see her but in my mind you know but i could hear her and she said you've been always so good to us Nana. and we love you with our soul and she kissed, I always took their face and kissed them all over. And she grabbed my face and just kissed me all over. And uh, Shannon said, it, it's okay now. And we gave kisses and she turned her to her left. And then Bella came in and Bella went like, like kind of like, hi, Nana, you know? You know, just like the way she, I don't know, just, just don't the know. way she did it, yeah. You can tell the dad is and, um, holding back. She said, guess what, Nana? And I said, what, Bella? And she said, I can go to Walt Disney World anytime I want. And I said, that's right, Bella. That's right. She thanked us for loving her so much. And that's how you remember those yes, two? Yes, after I, I saw Bella and Cece. And then Shannon was standing there. I could see her body, but like kind of like see-through. And then just her upper part turned. And then she, I couldn't see who was handing the baby to her. And she handed me the grand, my grandson. And, it's just like Frankie. It's crazy, but looks just like Frankie. So he's beautiful. He's beautiful. I'm so glad that you have that presence and that experience. It saved my rather life. Rather than it saved my life. Rather than the experience of just how they were found. Mm -hmm. And that's why myself and hundreds of other YouTubers fight because of Chris and Nicole doing this to these four individuals that lost their life because what they didn't want to pay child or he didn't want to pay child support. He didn't want to uh, be with Shanann anymore. It, that's why I do this. Cause I'm not going to get any reward. I don't want a reward. I want justice. So, this was probably a good thing I didn't watch this before, but... <sighs> Sorry, I'm emotional, guys. I'm an I'm a emotional person, even when it deals with kids. So, please comment down below if how emotional this got you, because I'm a blubbering idiot. <laughs> and this is why we fight. This is why we do this. To find the evidence, to make sure that not only Chris keeps in prison but Nicole will join him one day or another we're going to make sure that it happens so make sure you like because of um do the like for the justice to get the justice um, to make sure that we do or see I can't even talk that we get the justice for these four and um if the Russes are watching this, I'm sorry. I'm sorry you had to do this. But we'll see you guys in the next video.